aluminum. So the debit Very side worse. of Kekeli Enterprise yeah. Travelers exceeds the credit side. Mm -hmm. The net profit was three million three hundred and sixty eight thousand. Critical investigation into the activities of the enterprise revealed the following errors. So they had made a profit. The one the requirement of the question first. So or is it have to be the requirement? Yes. Before I leave. It's a show the general entries to correct the errors. Narrations are not required. Then draw up statements to show the adjusted problem. Yes. So the general entry here. Put the general up. So we have Articulates debit, then credit, balance of this. Then that's the A. The B will be the statement of adjusted profits. So when we read an error, we have to ask whether the error affects the profits. Then we use it to correct the profits. So, profit for the year is what? I said when we read an error, we have to ask whether the error has an effect on our profits. Okay. If it has an effect, then we will adjust okay. the profit. That is why we are adjusting the profit. So, what was the profit for the year? It's 3 million So, 3 million 368, 1, 2, 3. So, we are going to bring things that must be added and things that must be subtracted. We don't know, but when we ask and when we read it, we have to add it back to profit. Yeah. We add, we have to subtract, we subtract. So that's the requirement of expression. So let's go. Error number one. Insurance premium paid was understated by 600,000 Ghana cities. What kind of error is that? What error is that? Error of casting, right? Mm -hmm. So if an insurance has been under, understated by 600,000, how do we correct that error? Remember, I told you that, uh, or you, you, saw, you, may, you saw in the previous lesson, the error of casting. You saw in the previous thing that when an error is committed in one account, mm -hmm. we don't involve, it means that when we are correcting that error, it will involve what? A suspense account. But when the error is committed in two accounts, then suspense account will not come in. So in this case, it is insurance account that has been what? Understated. Now, what is insurance? Is it an income and expenses, a, 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 a capital or a profit? What is insurance premium? Is it an expense, an income, a capital, or what is revenue? What is it? Why? Companies pay insurance premium. Is it not a company? Paid. So that's an expense. So if an expense has been undercast by 600,000, what is the effect on that on profits? What is the effect on this thing or on the, of this error on your profit? Increase. Your profit will, will increase. Why will your profit increase? Because this deduction has to be subtracted. Should have been subtracted but was not subtracted. So, so your profit has increased. So right now what do you do? You have to subtract it from the profits. So insurance premium on that. But how do we correct this error? What balance does insurance keep or debit. expenses keep? Debit. So if it is under task, it's still going to be debit. The thing keeps a debit balance and it is under task, okay. meaning it's on the debit side. So we're going to be debiting insurance premium accounts. With a 600,000. And then we'll credit suspense accounts. Now they said narration is not needed, so we won't do any narration. 
Otherwise, we would have said error of casting or error of undercast in the insurance premium account now corrected. Next one. An amount of 440000 in respect of private purchases made by Kekeli had been included in the purchases account of the company. What is that? This one is a personal transaction. It's a personal transaction. So me you should have gone to where? Drawings account. But it has been put into purchases. What is the effect of this? So how do we correct this error? How do we correct this error? What balance does purchases keep? Purchases keep what? No, no, no. Debit side. Debit. So if there is a figure there that's not supposed to be there, what do we do? We credit. When we credit purchases, we will debit what? Why bank? Private purchases. So we will debit drawings. Are you getting the idea? So we go to debit draw because private purchases is supposed to go to drawings. But it wasn't taken to drawings for 40000 Right? So we credit purchases. Now, meaning purchases was overcast. True or false? Meaning purchases was increased. Right? Now, when your purchases figure increases, what is the effect of that on profit? It reduces your profit. So what do we do? You have to have add it back. So private purchases. Four forty dollars. Are you getting the how the thing is done? So you need to know. Okay, this item, what is it? Two. What balance does it keep? Three. How do I correct the error? Then fourth. What is the effect of that error on the profit for the year? So the effect will now determine whether it reduced our profit. If it reduced our profit, then we need to come and add it back. If it increases our profit, then we need to come and subtract. C. The bank balance has been overcast by 1,488,000 Ghana cities. The bank balance has been overcast by 1,488,000 Ghana cities. What kind of error is that? It's still an error of casting. So if your bank balance has been overcast, what is the meaning of that? You have error of casting? It's one of those errors. Omission. Principal. No. It's omission. Principal. Principal. No principal. It's error of principle. Okay. So maybe correct it. It's error of principle. I never said principal in the video. Maybe that time you were drinking something, so you didn't hear. I didn't hear it. So like the drawings, this this thing here, it's an error of principle. Do you get it? Because an accounting rule has been breached here. Because private purchases is supposed to go to drawings, but it has been taken to purchases. So this is error of principle. Do you understand it? But the bank balance. Overcast is an error of casting. Now, where? So, if the bank balance is overcast, what does it mean? What balance does the bank account keep? Debit. So, if it is overcast, it means the overcast is on which side? So how do you remove it? Credit. So when you credit the bank, you will debit what? If you credit bank, you debit what? Suspense credit. account. Right, this because one is I said in only one. that is it. You it's saw that this guy suspends the income because it has to be corrected in two accounts. So we debit suspense. 1,488,000 and then you credit the bank balance. Now, will this have any effect on our profits? Yes. How? 
with this one, our uh, profit have increased. When we were preparing the financial statement, did we ever bring any bank balance inside? Wasn't bank balance a balance sheet item? Was it yeah. ever brought to the... Are you asking the inspector? Yeah, yeah I'm, ask, I'm, I'm asking that would it have any effect on our profit? Mm -hmm. This one will not have any effect on our profit. It's not bad. It's a balance sheet item, so it doesn't have any effect in the income it's statement. Not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Is it? <laughs> so that is it. D. An entire page, totally 1960,000, in the sales journal was omitted from the posting to the sales account. This is error of omission. Error of omission. But just to the sales account, so it is not really entirely omission. It's, a, it's like error of single entry. So, a whole balance of sales was not put into the sales account. Meaning that, what does it mean? So, this figure was not added to the sales of the company. Do you understand it? So, what is the effect on that of, on our profit? It has increased uh, increase our profit. The thing that you didn't add. Okay. You didn't add. Sales. When we're preparing the profit statement, did you even bring sales first? Mm -hmm. Now, if this 1960 was not part of the sales, what does it mean? It means the sales was undercast. Mm -hmm. And when we reduce your sales, what happens to your profit? Reduce. Your profit reduces. So in correcting the error, what do you do? You are coming add it back. So sales omission. Do you understand it? Do you understand? You don't understand. Where do you don't you understand? An entire page, totally one million nine hundred and sixty thousand in the sales journal was omitted from the posting to the sales account. So when we pick the sales account, from where the sales figure in preparing your profit statement will be brought, that figure is not there. If it's not there, meaning the sales was undercast. If you, have, if you reduce your sales, that means your profit will certainly want reduce. But how do you correct that error? Mm -hmm. How do you correct the error? How do you correct the error? Uh -huh. Which account do we debit? Which account do we credit? The sales account, what account does it keep? Sales account. Sales account keeps debit. And purchases account also keeps more balance. Oh, no. Sales credit purchases debit. So if sales account keeps credit and there was an omission and now we are breaking it, what do we do? And debit what? Debit what? The sales dinner. Sell, what, 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 debit what sales dinner? Sale. Confused about what? Actually. Where is the error occurring? How do you correct the error? Credit. You credit the sales. And debit what? Uh, your sales. So, where is the confusion? Yeah. Yeah, you have to. But it was anyway. So suspense one nine six zero thousand sales. So error of omission in sales account now corrected. Next one. Closing inventory was undercast by three hundred and thirty six thousand. Another error of casting. Now, how do we correct this error? Closing inventory being under cast. How do we correct the error? How do you correct the error? What is closing inventory? Inve what is inventory? Is it an asset, an expenses, a liability, an income, or a capital? It's an asset. What balance do assets keep? 
So if they keep them in balance and they say he has been under cast, as it just said, what is the meaning of under cast? The amount has been reduced. So if the amount has been reduced and now we need to add it, so you debit what? You debit and credit what? So inventory. Source now, will this have any effect on our profit if your closing inventory is undercast? Will it increase our profit or reduce our profit? That will increase our profit. Or reduce our profit. So let me make an illustration for you to see. So we have to bring sales. Let's say the sales is 200. 200. Then we add what? Opening stock. Let's say the opening stock is 100. Purchases they say 120, making 220. Then let's say the closing stock is uh, 60. So we will get what? 160. Right? So when we subtract this, what do we get? 40, isn't it? Now, that's the first scenario. We are told in this question that closing inventory is what? Undercast. So this is the closing inventory. So I'll bring it here and I'll do it 30. Then you see. So 100, 120, 220. This time I'll bring 30. So that we'll get what? 190. What happens? Profit is now only what? So if Closing inventory is undercast. What happens to profit? It reduces profit. So what do we do? You add it back. Do you see the technique? So closing inventory undercast. Three, three, six, five. Next one. A transaction in the debit side of the cash book amounting to 528,000 was recorded as 5,280. This is like error of transposition, right? So it's on the debit side of the cash book. So what kind of error is this? The amount has been what? Reduced. So we need to find the difference and bring it to the debit side of the cash book. Will that affect our profit? Yeah. How? Your cash. Does cash come into the profit statement? Cash doesn't come into the profit statement. Yeah. Cash. So it doesn't come to the profit statement. So find a difference for me. What's the difference? That's a loss. That's a loss. So it's on the debit side, so we're still going to bring it on the debit side. So cash, how much? 520. Then we will credit source fees. So we said that it has no effect on what? The profit. Because this is a cash. Cash, a bank item, don't have any effect on this one. Next one. An invoice of 784000 has been correctly included in the inventory and purchases account, but not posted to the personal account. An invoice of 784000 has been included correctly in the inventory and purchases account, but not posted to the personal account. What does it mean? This error of single entry. We bought goods from some people. So we've recorded it in our inventory and we recorded it in the purchases account. But the person from whom we bought the goods 
we have not recorded in their account. Now, this could suggest that we bought the goods on credit. Are you getting the idea? Because if you are buying purchases, meaning you bought a thing on credit. So, creditors, what balance do they keep? Creditors, our suppliers. The people you owe, they keep a debit balance. You owe them. Now, the under creditors, we are money. Creditors are the people who you buy goods from on credit. That's what I just said. So if you buy goods on credit from them, they keep a credit balance. So when you are keeping a credit balance and there is an amount you have not posted there, if you are not posting it there, what do you do? Do you debit the account or credit the account? You credit. So when you credit the account, which account do you debit? It has already been done. We are told that the inventory and purchases were correctly done. So it was not only posted in the personal account. Okay, so we debit suspense. Now would that have an effect? How much is the figure? So when you are using the side, you make the thing that's right. When I'm doing what? When I'm doing this thing, you are trying to get a picture. <laughs> Would it have any effect on our profit? Why? Because it has already been what recorded. And the error relates to a personal account, which is a balance sheet item, not a state a income statement item. Last but one. Purchases general means purchases table. Now, the figure is supposed to be 3466, but it was posted as what? 2366. Meaning that the figure has been what? Undercast. Right? So, how do you correct it? What account does the purchases account keep? Debit. Debit. So, you're going to be finding the difference and then debit purchases. What's the difference? Investigation revealed that the amounts have not been posted to the appropriate accounts in the general or nominal ledger. Now, in the cash book, the debit side records discount allowed. And the credit side is what? Discount received. Why? Because it is only when you are receiving cash from your customers that you allow what? Discount. I said the debit side of the cash book records discount allowed and the credit side of the cash book records discount received. Why? Because it is when you are receiving money from your customers, which means you have to debit your cash book that you allow them discounts. So the figure on the debit side will be 
discount allowed. And discount allowed is an expense. That when you are making payment to your suppliers and they also give you discount, it is called discount received. And so that is on the credit side of the cash book. And discount received is an income. So we have to add it to the profit. Now, this can receive also this can receive keeps a odds, a credit balance because it's an income. And this can allow gives a debit balance because it is odds, an expense. So from the things there, they said debit and credit. So the 75,000 is the debit, and then the 187,000 is the odds, credit. Meaning the discount allowed is the 75,000. And discount allowed is an expenses. Now, since it was not recorded, it means they were not factored in calculating what? This profit. So discount allowed is an expenses, so we need to what? Subtract it. So the debit one is the discount allowed, and that is the 75,000. And then the credit is the discount received, it's an income. And that is the 187,000. Now, it wasn't recorded, so now we have to record it. Now, my space is exhausted, so you're going to be doing that on your own. But I'll just illustrate it here for you. So to record this transaction, we will be debiting, so we will debit suspects with the uh, discount received and then credit discount received. So debit suspect, what's the discount received? 187, okay, thousand, and then we'll credit discount received 187,000. Then we will debit discount allowed with the 75,000. Sounds good. Then we'll credit suspects 75,000. Do you understand? Do you understand it? So that's how you do the end. My space is exhausted, so that is why I made this illustration for you. So that's for the discount. Hmm? Uh, for that transaction. Is it only with the cash book? The discount allowed the uh, In this case, it's in the cash book. So, so with, the, with the cash book. That's the rule. Yes. So the one on the debit is discount allowed. The one on the credit is this can receive. So that's all about it. Add all these for me. Let's add it to the profit. What's the figure? 1,159,000. Add it to what is added. there. Then add this up. So you subtract that from the four million five hundred and twenty-seven thousand. So that's it. 
to a max. That's it. So, when you finish with the journal, you add the totals up. So I'm assuming that my paper is continuing with this. Then you add the totals up. So you add all the debits, you add all the credits, they should be equal, and that is all. So that is the question on correction of error and suspense account, and that is for 20 marks. So I'll see you in the next video as we solve some other questions on suspense account.